you may have seen this UFO video circulating Reddit four months ago. This tiny little dot flying across the frame captured the attention of 100,000 people in a matter of hours and had them believing in aliens. But here's the thing, I faked it all. A unique perspective, about five minutes in After Effects and one post. The video took off immediately and I was flying high. But there was one thing I didn't consider, the metadata. And just like that, my beautiful UFO got effed in the O. Turns out the UFO community is really good at spotting fakes, so logically there's only one thing left to do. We're gonna try again. Wait, we? Yeah. Like you and me. You're welcome. In the video that is mine? Yep. Sort of my thing. Ours. Ours. Come on. Ours. You should be smiling. That's better. So if we are to create a truly seamless fake UFO video, yeah. first of all, I want to just kind of break down what happened four months ago uh, when I faked this first video. Yeah, because originally it was supposed to be a challenge for the whole crew. Right. We take four of us and compete to sort of like make the most viral yeah. fake UFO video that we possibly could. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we were all very excited about doing yeah. that. Yeah. And it, we didn't really get the, think of the chance. Well, I got the chance. <laughs> <laughs> it is March 3rd. Matt has made the first official post and gosh, that's correct. it's popping off. Because I was so excited about it, I like really wanted to jump into it because I had already had a really convincing plate to yeah. use mm -hmm. from my stepdad's plane because he actually flies planes. It's such a unique perspective and I think it would get people to click on it. The visual effects aspect of this was actually super simple mm -hmm. because it was just a small little orb. This, ah, this, this is, is the, the UFO! This this is the visual effects shot. Oh <laughs> my gosh. This. Yeah, I remember actually the first few times that you showed me the video, I didn't even see it. Yeah. And once I saw it, it's like, oh, now I see it. And it almost like you earn it. You like, you discover it. It's all, like every horror movie that I've ever seen. I can't really think of a time where I was satisfied seeing the monster after it had been hidden the entire movie because my imagination had made it way scarier than what it ended up being. And that's what yours did so well. It was just, your, your mind could kind of just pour in and, and make it whatever it wanted really. The thing is here though, it's not just about the footage or yeah. the VFX shot. It's actually the story that you spin around it and how you post it on Reddit. Mm. Uh, the presentation is everything, yeah. right? In the comments, once this video is posted, we're peeling back the layers of the story. We're not yeah. revealing everything at once. We're not showing all of our cards. So it's basically just adding these little moments in the comments of like this tinder that yeah. you're throwing onto the fire, you know, that'll ignite uh, new conversations yeah. and also like create yeah, a little bit of controversy, a little bit of conversation. Wow. Wow. You know? And this, like, this went proper viral, like, very quickly. Yes. Just got another thousand views <laughs> as we were talking. Yeah. Is it hard to do this? To, like, fake these videos? I mean, I would imagine that the more that people are watching and the more people that are seeing, the more the demand goes up for further evidence of something. You're totally correct. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened here. They wanted the original video. And I went, like, I should send them the file. So, of course, this visual effects file was exported from After Effects, mm -hmm. um, but it was saved specifically with a naming convention and codec found on the iPhones. The problem is there is deep rooted metadata in these files that I was not aware of at all. But there's literally a website called Metadata2Go <laughs> and you could just plug in any file you want and it extracts literally oh, everything, man. the history of the file. Matt's, Matt's real, real UFO, UFO footage, footage, undeniable evidence. It's the worst thing you could have named it, <laughs> .aup. The one thing you didn't want yeah. was a path to a folder that indicated that we are VFX artists. I just thought maybe <laughs> if I said undeniable evidence. Hey folks, Ob is a big fat phony. Big fat phony. Wow, that was a hurt. It felt bad, but also I am, so I can't. It's undeniable. Kudos yeah. to exposing it. Yeah, I mean, clearly these guys, it's harder to fool them than you think. You, it takes a level of detail that I was unaware of. But the thing is, I do want to have a file and a video and a story that is foolproof. <laughs> I want a UFO video that truly fakes the internet. Now here's the reality. Yeah. The, Re the Reddit squad, yeah, they're, they're on high alert. Yeah, they are. They're looking for it now. Yep. So we're gonna have to be a step above. There's a lot.
lot of UFO sightings circulating around, and it's it's like picking up steam again. You know, it's yeah. trending. Oh, UFO performs sharp maneuver after laser pointer directly hits craft. Thirty thousand upvotes. So what's yeah. happening here? That's that. It's totally a bug, right? It's a bug. It's one hundred percent a bug. It's just a bug. Yeah, but. There are still questions being raised here, and that's what makes it so popular, right? Yeah. It's it's obscure enough. This is interesting. This is sort of a night vision perspective, and, and then, then there's this. This is the weird one. So it's moving crazy. irregularly. That's something that we did with the original video too: is change directions unnaturally to an yeah. aircraft that is known, right? This one is literally on the news, and you're gonna see uh, how ridiculous that is. Okay, so that's... look at look at how it darts off. Uh, Talk about After Effects motion blur. Yeah. And look at how fast it goes. Yeah. Everyone in the comments totally knows it's fake as yeah. well. You know, this is like clearly, clearly fake, right? What have we learned? Keep it simple. Don't get cocky with it. Is it hard to do this? Allow people to fill in the blanks with their own imagination. Yes. No bugs. No, no bugs. No bugs. <laughs> no bugs. <laughs> Something that is clearly moving in a way unknown to man. Inorganic. Right? Maybe. Inorganic. It up. So with the VFX element of this, mm. you know, we I feel like I want to elevate it from the first one. If you're not aware, uh, I snuck my fake UFO video <laughs> to a debunking session with Sam and Nico. I love it so much. <laughs> so, which worked perfectly. They didn't know yeah. that it was mine, right? Meaning I could get some like actual uh, feedback yeah, from, from, expert from eyes. great visual effects artists. Yeah. And the thing is, I didn't fool them. I think this is fake. I think this is fake too. There's no motion blur on the cockpit as it jumps from here to here. And that little object should be just as crisp as the cockpit window. Somebody tried to trick us. Yo, let's get up there, oh, no. let's get up there. So, with your help, I wanna make this bulletproof, right? And yes. using Sam and Nico's advice, just make sure that yeah. the object in the sky is as realistic as possible. First steps, we gotta get that plate. Something that is interesting, attention grabbing, uh, and also helps tell our story, right? Yeah. I think Thanks. I know a man that could help us out. Ren. You have a Tesla. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I do. And Teslas are cool because they have multiple cameras, multiple angles on them. You always have the ability to capture uh, what you've seen. I have it configured so that like, whenever I hit the horn, it'll automatically record the previous 10 minutes. So basically, what you've done for us here, Ren, is you've captured like different angles uh, in a more remote location. I had to like literally drive up into the mountains. <laughs> Legend. So I did that yesterday, and I got the footage for you. I have like the front angle, the back angle, yeah. and then two different side angles that are also kind of pointed backwards. Sweet. Have you done any research into Tesla dash cam metadata yet? No, but I will. My goal is to make a finished VFX shot that looks like raw footage straight out the Tesla so I can redeem myself in this horrible metadata blunder. Yeah, because everybody, everybody is making fun of you yeah. behind your back. Mostly angry. If that helps inspire maybe a little bit. We have the plate footage from Ren now, which is a great start. It's everything we need to Lay the foundation of our deceit, really. The first thing that I'm gonna do is jump on the 3D tracking. My goal, essentially, is to track each of these different cameras and marry them together so that it's one cohesive body of three cameras that's moving through 3D space. Once we have that, it's a matter of actually modeling the UFO, which I've done here, and might I say, I have a gift. I'm not meaning to brag. I just, I think that I'm a fantastic modeler and I think this is a great showcase of my skill set. You know, we also have our three cameras here, which we can see moving through space. And the important thing there is now, I do one singular animation of our UFO object. It's consistent timing wise and perspective wise across all three cameras. So if someone were to take all this footage and line them up, it would make sense spatially. Another very important aspect to this is the motion blur matching. With these Tesla cameras, there's not a lot of motion blur. The unfortunate side of lowering the amount of motion blur is that you see more definition of your object. And that really is the ugly balance of trying to make something believable here is you need to see enough of it, but man, if you see too much, it's really easy to write off. So with all this taken into account, it comes down to the most important part, and that's the composite. We need to match all of those elements, the blacks, the whites, the compression level inside of Nuke in order to make this believable, because without that, this will all fall apart immediately. Hey, Jordan. Jordan, so check this out, ready? What I have here is a command window, uh -huh. and within it, Matt's real UFO footage, undeniable Dude, evidence. this is how they caught you. That's how they caught me, but this is more than that, because what this means is I have access to it on, on the computer, on the mainframe, <sighs> meaning I can edit it. I'm just copying the original metadata from the source file and pasting it onto 
the new file that it has on VFX. I'm basically Indiana Jonesing the video file. Oh my gosh, so it literally is copying yeah. the exact metadata from the original exactly. too. Exactly. Who would have guessed say. that all it took was the mainframe? Well, this is great news. Yes, this is, this is, this is a breakthrough. Now we just need a video that'll yeah. make it worthwhile. Yeah, get on that, buddy. Gosh, all right, I'll, yeah. go, I'll do something now. Yeah, please I'll do. I'll contribute now. Please do. I guess. We gotta post this tomorrow, so. Oh, good lord. Yeah. All right. All right, Jordan Allen, today yes. is the day. I'm so okay. nervous. We, I'm like genuinely nervous. Yeah. So after exporting the finished VFX shot and cleaning all the dirty metadata, I'm feeling a lot more confident that we can release this original footage. So I guess the only thing left to do now is to upload the damn thing. We got to get this thing out there, man. This is, is the moment of truth, Jordan Allen. It's terrifying yeah, being here it is. now. There were so many steps to get here, mm -hmm. right? Just the VFX shot alone. I don't yeah. think we've spent more time on a single, simple VFX shot like this. It's a dot. It's one dot. Yeah, it's <laughs> Two straight days dot. of just making sure that if someone were to go in and zoom in on that single dot, there would be no holes in it. There's also the backstory, you know, yeah. and making sure that's airtight. Having that extra layer removed, you know, all that stuff we learned from the first video and we're implementing here. If yeah. there is so, one single thing that we overlooked, the entire house of cards falls. But I think we've done our due diligence. Let's send the ship off, send see off. if it floats. Ren? It's time, dude. Ugh. I'm hitting it. I just hit it. It's loading. It's too late. Come on, please, okay, dude. Okay, here we go. Now, there's nothing else to do but wait. Here wow. we are. It's an honor to be in your presence Truly. once again. You two are some of the greatest uh, debunking minds in the UFO community. People look to you for advice and knowledge based on the knowledge that you've given us from the last debunking video. And days and days of research, we've created a new yeah. uh, UFO Ooh. found footage video. Oh, yeah. You've been paying our salaries while we've been doing this. We give you unidentifiable perfection. That is one hell of a UFO you have there, boys. Thank you. We have three distinct angles, all capturing the same phenomena. Mm, that's a nice one right there. Look at you and your HDRI motion blur. Mm -hmm. This is also one of the most unique camera sources I've ever seen. You know, I want to see what the back of a Prius is catching in the sky, and I'm kind of getting that vibe now. Now, what we've done from this point is we posted this video, X, 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 files, X, yes. X, X. A little on the nose, wouldn't you say? Indeed, however. You think so. That is a repost account. Woo! We actually posted from two different Reddit accounts. The very first original post um, is from an account that has a lot of karma. It's provided by a friend of Matt, who mm -hmm. does landscaping. Landscaping. Or, and one comment found, he's just a Joe Schmo, yep. as they said. Mm -hmm. Nothing suspicious here. Yeah. Wow. So I'm playing the character of a man that doesn't know how to edit. He's just a guy who got this footage from his aunt who drives this Tesla. So we gave it a couple of days, just with the original post. This is straight from the Tesla, right? There's nothing been done to it, no crunchiness, specifically to frustrate people. <laughs> it got people kind of mad. So we had a secret weapon. We had a Fenner yeah. who has been cooking a Reddit account. He made this uh, over a year ago. So he reposted it with all the bells and whistles. And this one has almost 200,000 views. Wow, so this required two whole accounts. Yes. Yeah. I love the, the social engineering aspect of this. <laughs> it's almost yes. more interesting than everything else. Yeah. That's the most important part. Yeah. There's, a, there's a special pride I took in watching Matt in his fake account talk to Fenner in his fake account. We were having conversations in character. It was really <laughs> yeah. something to watch. Yeah. yeah. I gotta say, I'm really proud to announce that in none of the comments were they suspicious that this was a visual effect shot. And maybe, even more important, mm. Matt, he put the original files online That's for right. people to download and explore. This is true visual effects. This is true illusion creation. How did you guys have your, your gimmick, your reveal, but you have your pattern, you have your story. You, you've created the whole theater mm. as well. The details matter. It, every single bit of that video mattered to mm -hmm. fool them even even to the point that we fooled them, because yeah. we didn't really even fool them. For every comment that was believing in this found footage, uh, there were comments denying it, still. People were still doubting. They want to believe, you know, and I, it's admirable. It really is admirable. Yeah. But, you know, not without that bit of like doubt in their mind, yeah. which is important because you can't just believe everything you see on the internet. This is really great. I have a, I have a challenge for you guys. Mm. Can't help but notice you didn't give this the ultimate test. You didn't have us debunk it blind. See if you can actually pass the real test. Make a new UFO video and make us think it's a real shot. We've learned 
and we've grown. Learned and grown. I think we can trick you. Hey, you guys, if you don't wanna miss that video, subscribe because I'm not gonna know when it happens. <laughs> and neither will you, it'll just, it'll just arrive. Until next time, guys, keep your eyes on the stars and in your hearts.